Hi everyone, uh, Nella here with Noah. Yes, Noah, not Benji's spare head. Um, he's becoming a character in his own right. I was hoping that I'd be able to avoid that, that I'd be able to avoid making him a character. But last night, um, this story came to me in a flash, and I realized that there was no way I could get out of it. Um, he has a completely different feel than Benji does. Um, Noah is very serene and calm, peaceful. I know those are all kind of similes. Very calm, peaceful. Um, and um, Benji is not. <coughs> so, let me tell you a bit about his character. Um, I actually have more for his story rather than his character. I don't actually much know where he's from, but, oh, uh, first side note, um, I was, I had three potential names for him, Luke, Michael, and Noah, but I decided to go with Noah, um, because it just kept coming back when I was thinking of his story. I kept going, Noah did this, Noah does that. Um, but what actually um, is very appropriate for him because Noah means rest or peace, which is very true for his character um, and is a real good fit with how he is. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still sick, and it might possibly be the flu, I don't know. I have everything except for the flu. Yay. Anyway, Noah, um, and <coughs> Noah is very spiritual, um, and he's, he's far more connected to the spiritual side of things, and very much disregards um, kind of the fleeting, yeah, I'd say the fleeting um, mundane bits of life. Um, he's more concerned with the bigger picture of things. Um, and he's just overall very calm. Uh, very calm, very collected, very serene, and actually has this very, he has the feeling, gives off, sorry, he gives off the air of being someone who has figured out um, their life and their place in the universe and is at peace with their place in the universe. Um, there you go. So I actually really, really do like um, his face. I can't wait to give him a face up. <coughs> and the reason he's in this wig instead of Benji's wig is because I don't know the the redheaded wig just didn't look right on him. Um, even though I had no idea what the Snowa character would look like. Um, the darker natural black hair, um, suits him a lot. And I'm not sure yet whether he's going to have very, very short hair or, uh, long hair. But in either case, it would be because, um, it'd be kind of a shorthand to show how spiritual he is. That he's issued, um, the... He's kind of shoot all vanity. Uh, he's very practical, and if he has his hair long or if he has it very short, it's just because he can't be bothered to spend the time on his hair that he could be spending his time meditating or volunteering or helping others on their path um, to a fulfilled life. 
Anyway, um, Noah, though, is not alone in his story. Uh, much like he, he's sort of a symbol of peace and order, um, which of course means there has to be a symbol of chaos, which is actually his ward. Um, and as his young ward, Isaac. Now, I have mentioned Isaac before, but not by name. Um, Isaac is the name and character that started forming for the Soon Cheshire Cat that I don't have yet. Um, though I really, really want him. Um, and Isaac is a black and white cat boy um, who likes wearing punk clothes. And Isaac kind of... Okay, you know in cartoons how there's sometimes like those really over-the-top uh, villains that, like, they don't necessarily do anything that's really bad, but they're just so over-the-top, um, over-the-top and, and kind of revel in their evilness that's really fun to write them, and it's really fun to watch them. Isaac is like that. He's not actually that bad, uh, not on his own. The thing with Isaac being a being of chaos is that he essentially brings out that chaos and that chaotic element in other people. Um, so whereas when Isaac, um, who was actually awoken in a boy named Isaac, um, a bit confusing. Isaac the cat boy is named after is named for Isaac the human boy. Um, he's actually essentially a melding of a chaotic spirit and Isaac the human boy who even though he got melded with a chaotic being um, and had a lot of chaos in his spirit um, wasn't actually that bad so Isaac the chaotic cat boy Isaac the K.R. Catboy um, likes to kind of play himself up as a villain, um, but he really is just chaotic. Um, he likes having fun, he doesn't like rules, um, and he doesn't like feeling constrained or confined at all. But he doesn't actually really mean anyone harm. He doesn't want to hurt people. Um, even though his actions do sometimes hurt people. Um, his, actually a good example of that would be how he attacks Noah when they first meet. Um, Isaac is running away to find, to essentially get to a safer spot where he can attack Noah better, but first he bends down and grabs a chunk of, um, he grabs something off of the ground and throws it into Noah's face. It's not sand, it's spiders. He throws, like, a, a whole handful of spiders into Noah's face. Um, and it's actually a good example of how Isaac is. Like, he'll, he won't throw knives at you, he won't try and, like, physically hurt you, he will insult you and tease you and throw spiders at you while trying to run away. He actually hates conflict. <laughs> um, <coughs> and, um, yes, yeah, so Isaac ends up becoming Noah's ward soon after the confrontation. I'm really hesitant to actually call it a confrontation because... Well, what do you call it when one person, Isaac, is uh, trying to run away and the other person, Noah, is completely non-violent and a total pacifist? Um, uh, I don't think conflict is, or confrontation is quite the right word for that. But anyway, Noah, Noah, ends up Isaac's guardian 
and kind of takes Isaac with him. Um, and so Noah essentially sees Isaac as, you know, like this kid that he has to take care of and show him the right way to live out his life. Whereas Isaac sees Noah as his nemesis, as um, his nemesis, his arch nemesis, in fact. <coughs> and uh, yeah, oh, for ages, um, I'm not sure how old Noah is. Um, I imagine him being very wise and world. And he gives off a very worldly sort of feeling. Um, but that's more because, as I stated before, um, he gives off, you know, gives off this air of, you know, having everything sorted out um, and being at peace with his place in the world, um, his place in the universe. Um, but I'm not actually sure how old he is. I'm thinking he's probably in his 30s is what I'm going for right now um, but it's very hard to be able to guess. Um, Isaac on the other hand is very childish um, and comes across as quite young which is not helped by the fact that Isaac continuously calls Noah old man. Um, because Isaac is teasing and such like that. Um, but anyway, this video is really, really long, and this is the third time I've tried this, and this is the shortest time yet. Um, but anyway, I will leave you guys with, actually, the Jonathan Colton song, Nemesis, Nemesis, yeah, Nemesis, um, and some uh, photos of Noah and Isaac. Bye guys.